हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द स्टूडेंट्स डायरी हम पिछले बार डिस्कस कर रहे थे व्हाट आर द इम्पोर्टेंस एंड व्हाट इज एन ईमेल एंड आज हमारे पास द फॉर्मेट ऑफ एन ईमेल एंड हमको कैसे लिखना है एंड व्हाट आर द हाउ टू राइट एन ईमेल मेल थिंग्स वी विल सी इन डिटेल सो नाउ लेट एस बिग सो दिस इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ एन ई मेल दैट इज गिवन ओवर हियर Listen. First comes the heading. So, email should have a heading. We have to head the email before writing, and it should have the second point is salutation. So, while writing an email, we have to salute. We have to give proper designation to the person. For example, when we are writing to a father, so we have to write dear father or loving father. So that is called the salutation. or oh, respected sir dear sir or oh, ma'am all these are called the salutation then we have the body and body it is the main content of the email as we have in the letter writing too so the body of an email contains the complete detail of the message it should be divided into suitable paragraphs if the message is a lengthy one we can make that then we have um, the closing address what is that how to close the email writing so the closing usually includes words of good wishes such as best regards kind regards regards sincerely yours faithfully thank you all the best and so on then next to that we have signature the signature line in an email message generally contains only the writer's name however it may sometimes include the title and the organization of the sender so it depends upon the sender then see we have in the heading itself in the heading we have some sub points those are first comes date then what is this date and how to write it i have also mentioned in the paper you just to see it the date the date line indicates the date the email was written on which day on which time on which year and which month it includes the day month year and the exact time while sending an email message the date line usually appears automatically as we write it goes on appearing so such we i have given you an example of uh, the date the next we have the form the form line contains the sender's name and email address the name does not include any personal title such as miss mrs mr dear etc etc of so while sending an email message the sender's address usually appears automatically and i have given it as an example then we have after from we have to the to line includes the recipient's email address that is what i have given also then we have next to next to that we have the subject the subject line summarizes the topic of the email in a few words example so this is given. we need to add a we i need to uh, write an email so this is the specimen of a formal email just see to from date and the subject and the address the salutation how it is written what all things are to be there it is given here in detail and this is for a formal specimen for an informal email and for your reference i have also given an example of how to write an email it is the email you can see you can go through this and you can learn it so if you have any doubt please comment us and we will try to clarify to all your doubts so thank you so much for listening to us and in the next we will be having some interesting topic for you so thank you